shirts we've got the black and white one and then we have a colored one if you guys want to represent Bambera Boxing if you think you've learned something if you think you're somebody who wields the system well or is learning to feel free to pick something up in our merch store But my low back hurts so bad from the dry. This might work. Right off the bat, my opponent is jabbing and punching for my chest and my shoulders, and he's leading. He's anticipating where I'm going to be, specifically to that open side. When I slip to my right, he's already punching for the position I'm going to end up being. This is an excellent way to shut down somebody like myself with proactive head movement. You see me smile at him here as we split the right hand. I land and he misses. He comes through cold with the right hand again, and I get an opportunity to turn with it, channel my inner Canelo, and rubberneck the punch. We've now got a really good bead on his distancing and his timing with his power side. This bolsters my confidence, so I settle into that half guard and I start pressuring. I spent the five months that I was recovering from breaking my hand in October practicing my half guard, practicing working with my left hand, and you can see it all coming together in the pocket here, where I'm turning with his shots, using it to load my rear side, and lifting him with my jabbing hand. Not everything's perfect and clean, but I'm trying to keep my composure, stay nice and calm and relaxed in there. By this point, we've got a good understanding of his distancing and his timing, and I can feel when I pressure him and hang out in the pocket, he almost always throws alternating hands, which are fairly easy to defend and counter in between punches. A nice demonstration of the control we've established in this fight is this big right hand that wobbles his legs. I know that the round's about to end, so I don't bother chasing him and headhunting, and I try to work the body a little bit before the bell. Invest in winning the fight and having an easier time later in the night. Beautiful work. 
someone to respect, you know? How are you feeling? Fine. Good. Nice. Easy. Okay, good. Just not fun the moment gets you in. Yeah, so. You know, it's a yeah. bit hard. Good. I can see everything he's throwing. Good. He's not fainting. He's landing some little glancing shots. Nice, perfect. Nothing. What nice. else? Right. Let's go. Nice. Easy. Breathe nice and deep. Easy. Yeah, looks good. I don't know if I want it, but I feel fine. Yeah, good. In round two, he's still throwing punches at my chest, a great way to shut down a little pressure fighter. But we've already learned this trick and how to deal with it. You can see my comfort, especially in this second round. I'm smiling at him. I'm hanging out on the line behind my guard. I feel like I've pretty much got this figured out at this point. And we're just here to put the pressure on him, invest the time, energy, and volume to get the win. Any opportunity I get to work the body, I try to take it, try to slow him down, take some chunks out of his gas tank. Tending to land those big right hands whenever he exposed himself over his left shoulder and trying to pepper in some sixes so he doesn't feel comfortable getting under those shots so we can keep him pincered in between the threat of the uppercut and the threat of the hook. a couple big punches together here that push him around and the ref decides to give him a count. I don't believe he was hurt, but I appreciate the ref identifying a dominant performance on my behalf. Looks good. The start of the final round here, I'm sure you heard me talking to Lee in the corner. I feel very, very comfortable. I feel like I've got the kid figured out. I've sparred with a lot of guys that are just trying to kill me. And if you're not fainting, if you're not doubling up on the same hand, if you're not playing with rhythm and being deceptive, then defense becomes easier and walking somebody down becomes easier. And this round is just us putting on a good show for the fans. The audience was going crazy. More about that later. Ref stops the fight just to look at his nose. I say hi to Cassidy, up from Upstate Underdogs. Big shout out for him filming for us. Greatly appreciated. You can see me do something fun. Do my best heavyweight James Tony impression. I try to ride a right hand he throws and use it to spring back into my own rear hand. This was the first time in the fight that he tied me up and I whispered to him on the inside. I said, don't hold me, the crowd's loving this. Let's give him a show. You can hear the 10 second clapper and you see he and I nod to each other because we know we're gonna send it for the final 10.
All right, our fight is done. We won a decision win against uh, apparently a very popular hometown guy. The whole crowd is rioting and picking fights, and it's a lot of chaos on St. Patrick's Day weekend. <laughs> but we had a lot of fun. He was a hard hitter, which was fun. I always like guys that hit nice and hard like that. But he was pretty rote. Left, right, left, right, left, right. So I got in there, I caught and pitched, I worked the body, I paired my hooks and uppercuts, and we just started slowly building momentum through the duration of the fight until we finished. We even got a count in there, which was a lot of fun. He's a really nice guy. Hopefully he continues to gain experience. We can run this back in a couple years. I hope you learned something so you too can have success and put on a show when you fight. Yo, do you know whose camera this is? I don't know. Where'd you find it? On the floor.